Hello YouTubers, today we're going to be replacing the hydraulic steering system and my 200 horsepower Suzuki we just got the brand new engine on it also what we're going to do, we're going to dress it up crappy work, whatever the dealer did it and you can see the flange, the guy he cut it out and he notched the for my fish finder sonar which is already pinching the cable so we're gonna replace that and uh, also we're gonna replace the the strain relief we're gonna put a brand new ones the other ones were down from the sunlight pump and new hoses Make sure you get uh, lots of rags, lots of rags, oil is gonna be dripping everywhere. Also, I wanna do a big shout out to my brother, best fishing buddy. Which helps me get this engine, 200 horsepower Suzuki. Thing. We did have a 140 horsepower, but we got the head gasket blow up, so we upgraded to 200 Suzuki, which is sweet. And actually, that 200 has got a four cylinder, and what we got, we got extra trolling option, trolling mode for the dots, it just to reduce the RPMs while we're trolling with the push of the button. So, big shout out to my brother, my fishing buddy, and uh, here we go. Alright, so let's go get the uh, start removing the steering wheel, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it very easy. Alright, remove the steering wheel. Usually you need the pulley, but we're gonna do it a very easy way, my way. Uh, all right, this is the cup. Put the screwdriver right there. It's gonna come off. There's a nut in there. I already took it off. And you just unscrew it. And this is the way I'm removing the steering wheel because we're gonna remove the pump anyway. So we don't need that much. Basically, you put my primer back there, tap a couple times, nothing crazy. There you go. Very easy. Most of the time, you will need a pulley, but if you're gonna put the pry bar right there, create the pressure and just tap a couple times. Let's say you wanna take it out not damaging, just put the masking tape so you don't scratch we're gonna remove the cap from the top so we're gonna drain the oil and uh, when I'm gonna disconnect the hoses what I usually do, I take it out a couple times one way, the other way just get the oil, get it out from the from the hoses now on the hose, what I usually do I'm gonna show you in a moment. All right, guys. Now we're gonna disconnect the hose, hydraulic hoses from the steering, powering steering pump. Uh, make sure you get the rags. Put the oil dripping. Get the little bottle just in case.
my bed. Look how dirty oil, the old one. And then we're gonna put the new ones. You're gonna be able to look way better. Thing is, I got an autopilot. So it's gonna be a little different installation than regular. But it's nothing crazy because I got the splitter right here. Right there. And the one and my lot goes to the autopilot. But besides that, everything else is the same. And now we gotta take out the bolt mounting the helm. Suck it, works better. Stars on it. They're pretty long. We got the older screws removed and uh, connectors. We gotta remove the connectors too, the three connectors. Otherwise, it's not gonna go through. Okay, we tried to get this bad boy out. There you go. Come on. There you go. Actually, what I did, I moved those to the side. And this one this way. So it's easy to come out. The way. I run a new holes. I touch them with a string to the old one. And uh, what happened is I'm gonna go on the end of the boat and as I as I pull it all the way through, I'm gonna have a piece of string. Later I'm gonna touch the new one and pull it back. New one holes. Alright guys, now we got everything hooked up. A new stereo pump. Hoses, nice and neat. And I'm gonna show you the way I do it. Uh, what I did, uh, I got the two clear hoses hooked up to the vent. And uh, this, it's gonna give me a quicker fluid flow, just to get it to the piston. And let's get the steering up. Sure. We're gonna put a nut. We're gonna tie this up. We're gonna start getting the fluid going. All right. So what we got here? Homemade stuff. I put some a uh, little bit crazy glue on it. So it holds up pretty good though. Otherwise we'll slide it off. No rocket science. This one's gonna go way there, on top of that. And it's gonna work like a charm. Alright, let's put this thing in. Alright, nice and tight. I'm gonna make sure there's no leaking whatsoever. Yeah, looks like there's no leaking. And it's taking on oil, which is good. Sweet. Just gonna go see if there are any hoses doing crazy. 
pas eu Gada. Non, des kings. Pas long. So far, so good. Alright. Let's go to the back of the engine. Alright, so what we got here? We're gonna loosen up one side, the vent hole. We're gonna move that wheel, steering wheel, it's gonna pump the oil right through there, so it's gonna go way quicker. Uh, let's go to the steering wheel. So you can see that oil going right through that to my tank. And later what happened is you're gonna use that oil. But right now we got everything on one line. Let's go up. We're gonna close it up. When you see the oil coming through, I think it should be enough. What happens then I'm gonna loop it with one clear tube and we're gonna see the oil here coming out and we're just gonna be trying to get the air out of the system. Let me go get the steering wheel and I'll show you guys how the, the other side looks. this vent hole go to the other one and uh, we're gonna go to the steering wheel and we're gonna start turning the wheel left then I'm gonna be right and we're gonna be adding more oil and you're gonna see the how the bubbles going while passing by
So we're gonna keep doing this. Repeating from left to right, from right to left. And you're gonna see on a steering wheel. The pressure's gonna start building it up. Bubbles coming out. Patience, patience, patience. And also, so basically, you wanna make sure if you're gonna keep turning the wheel, you're gonna keep releasing the air, and eventually the air is gonna push it out through the the main hoses and uh, make sure when you. When it's going to be complete, basically it's going to look like this. We have a solid hose, no air. But what I do, I take the like a brakes. I just leave it to one side, take a like five minutes break. I gotta do something else, and I make them do something else. And now uh, coming back, then I turn the other way. So you can see, you're going to see the air coming through. And I'm just going to be eventually release to the steering. So basically, it's pretty much simple, no rocket science, anybody can do it. And uh, this is how it looks like today, when we change the flanges, looks nice and neat. It's just a shame the dealer can do this, so the client will be happy. I like what I did. 